finally it rises. Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, the Lincoln Addict, and I wanted to look at the next car. This isn't going to be a deep dive. I'd say this is more of a a preview slash review. But basically, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, Dallas 2023, which is September 20th through the 23rd, um, this one, I know it's pretty much what it's going on now. Uh, but I did want to still try to scoot in at least one of these reviews. I know one of the viewers had given me some insight to, hey, look at uh, this upcoming review. And I think he even said that he had his eye on this 66. So you can see there are a couple of convertibles um, here. And I've talked a little bit about some of these. Uh, this 65, I'll probably do a quick review on. But this 66 is where I wanted to start. And again, this will be a little bit shorter of a video. Please consider subscribing. Check out LincolnAttic.com if you want to find ways to listen to my free podcast, LincolnAtticPodcast.com. So, or LincolnAttic.com, excuse me. So uh, we basically have 77,000, almost we'll call it 78,000. Mecham, I think, does a good job. They've continued to enhance their website. Uh, they now have this video uh, and they have here in this gallery 19 photos. Uh, they have this nice layout. Of course, it's a 462 that was used for those two and a half years or so. We know it's an automatic and it has obviously power options as well as AC, uh, which is pretty typical um, for these cars to have AC, but not all of them do. You can see here the black paint. You got the star on the front fender. And from the photos, just going through them and looking at some of these shots, the car looks, you know, really nice, um, like easily a nice driver. Um, you will typically see little dings and dents sometimes in this trim right here. This trim, I think, is getting kind of harder to find, but certainly when I look at this grill, the little bit of pitting that it has, this is typical in 66, 67, 68. Uh, this is made out of, my understanding, this pot metal. So it will tend over time to kind of get um, some, you know, some pitting, if you will. But this this grill actually looks really nice. You got you to gotta remember, too, this um, is a kind of a zoomed-in photo. But uh, really, really nice appearance, in my opinion, of this car. Uh, what I would suggest to anyone is... As I always say, get eyes on the car. Um, if you can, you know, either you or someone you know that you trust um, can look underneath these cars and things like that. That's important. We can see here it does have the feature. This was not a standard option. Uh, most, although many of these cars do have it, you have the keyhole. So you can stand here as this gentleman's doing and you can put the top um, by turning it one way. I think to the right is it puts it down and then to the left, it puts it back up. So would have been handy, especially if you were looking to put groceries or golf bags in the back, you wouldn't have to come up here to the, to the dash. Um, what we see here with this kind of quicker preview, 77,000 miles, pretty much for the most part, I am a big fan, as I've said before, of like the originality of this original leather. I, I like it. I would prefer it in a car that I bought. Um, and what you can see is you, there's a little discoloration. Again, I, I like this feel. I would leave this. I would condition it. One thing I would tell you, and some of you know this, there are companies out there that if you have a tear or you had a lot of discoloration, they can kind of come in here with an airbrush and just different mechanisms and different materials and they can, uh, or methods, I should say, and they can bring this back to life. I always suggest that if, you know, if, if you're looking at a car too, you can always look to see, or, you know, was there any filler used on the seats and things like that. But I think this feels original. Um, the look, if you will, does, and I like it. The 66 still had the lower, as I call it, the lower uh, seat backs and 67 that does change. Uh, in 66 also, you kind of have this little bit of a space right here between, as I mentioned before, between the dash and the windshield. There's almost like a gap. And I actually like this uh, in 66. And one thing that you'll typically see is the 66 dashes, they weren't as prone to cracking right here uh, where the speaker grills at up to the back of the dash um, as these were in like 67 and 68. So that's a good thing. 
again, you can see here, it probably needs to be vacuumed down or whatnot, but uh, nothing too crazy. And then you can see the uh, courtesy light is still on here. If the door's shut, it shouldn't. Well, maybe it, maybe they are on because of uh, these doors open, but uh, the courtesy light's working. That's what I'm kind of getting at. But you see this little bit of discoloration. This might just be standard, but no matter if it's this car or any car, um, just know that some places will go and have people with airbrushes and different tools, like I said, and they'll they'll fix seats up to make them look better than they are. I'm not saying that that's done here, but that's something that I've been wanting to kind of mention to other people or mention on these videos rather, um, something always to look out for. So here we've got the 462. We know in 66, we have the single master reservoir. So that's the single here, as I've always preached, I believe in upgrading that to a dual. Of course, in 67, that was a standard, I think, based upon the National Highway Safety type stuff. 67, things really changed with safety. But uh, there's the single reservoir. And then here you've got the uh, the two-port pump. Um Again, three port is really the way to go. I would certainly source that if I was looking to buy this car. And then what they've done here is I think they've got uh, a different fuel filter in here coming out of the pump. Now, the reason oftentimes for that is the original fuel filters are hard to find and they're getting more expensive. I know because I just broke one. Um, I bent it a little bit while I was working on the AC on my 65 and fuel was spraying out of it when I went to start the car was not a good thing. And I had to buy another one from Lincoln land. They're not cheap. So certainly if you can find one, go ahead and buy one. Uh, but that's why that setup is probably not the factory fuel filter. Uh, we can, uh, sometimes we do get questions. Uh, the Ford blue was used, um, these do look like they may have been painted over time, but the blue comes into play here, whereas the earlier year 60s Lincolns were black, um, you know, all black parts, if you will, the air cleaner and the valve covers. Uh, we can see here, it does say it has a tilt steering column, which um, I get it mixed up, but 66 and 67 also had tilt. One year was more of a GM column, and then I think a different company was Ford, produced it for the other year. So it might have been 66 was like a GM style, um, which would be good if it was for 66. And again, I always forget which is which. Um, the reason being is you could have more people if you had to have the steering column rebuilt. More people know how to rebuild the GM ones. There's more kind of vendors out there. That does not eliminate in 66, 67. You still have the actual column down on this end here inside the engine bay. That has to have the new um, rubber put in there or you do the unconventional method, which Nathan Wilson, Tony Bolin, and some others have used um, with the coupler. But the reason why I say that is, again, just a public service announcement. It doesn't matter what year, 61 to 69 Lincolns uh, and other Fords, you cannot leave these cars idling uh, without your foot on the brake. Uh, and don't rely upon the emergency brake because I've talked a little bit about that on a Lincoln Attic podcast. Uh, reason being is... If, if everything's hooked up the way it should be, oftentimes the uh, emergency brake will click off when the car is shifted into gear. So when it jumps into reverse, that is – it's going gonna, it's gonna to knock off the, the emergency brake. And again, i just saying that because – it's it's worth noting that uh, you want to you know safety is the utmost importance, but um, as the dogs barking here in the background, my apologies. Um, I would say the only other thing I want to mention is this video. Um, again, they're continuing to to do a better job, I think, with with providing content um, on their website in terms of information. I wanted to see right here. Oftentimes, especially if it's black paint, you want to kind of look. And see how nice all this looks. It looks like there was a little bit of a, a divot there, but I don't think it's bad. It's probably just a shadow. But this car, at least from what we can see, is showing very, very well. Um, I think it's a nice, you can see kind of the, the, the paint's not perfect on top of the fenders there. This is kind of a driver style car, something you can potentially get in. Um, everything looks good in here. It looks like maybe even new gaskets um, for the headers. Uh, this window, I don't know, maybe it's stuck. Maybe they just didn't put it all the way down. Those window switches are prone to need, needing to be replaced and or rebuilt in these 66, 67s. Um, this looks like a holding or this is at the auction place, it looks like. But um, 
if you are in the market for this car or a car in the future, certainly these are the things you need to look at. You also need to look underneath the car. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any photos to see what the undercarriage looks like. I know you're thinking, hey, this car looks great. And I've seen cars look this nice. Um, a local guy here spent upwards of 35, 40 grand on an eBay car years ago. And up, up, upon getting into it, 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 the whole underside of the car was rusted out. I mean, it was a lipstick job. So um, there you go. 66 like a Continental Convertible. I think from the from the top, it looks good. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Appreciate all the support. Stay on the rise. Take care.